Are you prepared for doing business in the new normal that we are now living in? Well, if not, stay tuned. I'm actually break down some of the terms in network marketing for you to help make the easy transition as you're looking for new ways to work from home. In case you don't know me, my name is Jason Cheney, and I'm one half of a husband and wife team, and we're dedicated to helping you reclaim your physical and financial health. So today's series of network marketing, where I'm actually going to break down the terms, but this actually comes from yesterday when Cece and I were actually on a training for six hours. It was intense, mind-blowing, and we got to hear from some of the world top leaders in marketing and sales, uh, from the creator of Spanx. We got to talk, to, uh, hear from Damon John, who is my, one of my personal mentors. I love the death, and it's anytime I can hear from him, I love the wisdom he um, gives. And we also got to hear from Jay Abraham. If you don't know him, he is the grandfather of marketing. This man is probably one of the most smartest men in the world, next up there to Elon Musk and uh, Warren Buffett. During the recession, he was able to bring in over half a billion dollars in profit. And if you're looking at that from a, a place of like, oh, he's just able to make all this money, think of the lives he was able to impact. Think of right now, if you were in a company that was able to bring in half a billion dollars of profit, how many jobs would that save right now when we have over 22 million Americans unemployed? So really think about that. And it was such an honor hearing from him. But I'm going to be honest with you. He started talking about things on business I have never even knew about, I never knew existed. And they were so much higher up on business uh, terms and things. I didn't understand what he was talking about. And so CC and I was like, yeah, we got to watch this over and over to start breaking it down and understanding it. And so then it, it, thought, it dawned on me, most people are not familiar with the industry of network marketing. So just throwing terms out here that we're familiar with, how are you going to be familiar with? And no matter what job I've ever worked in my life, whether it was McDonald's as a kid, Holiday Inn, uh, working with my uncle, doing roofing, uh, post office, uh, military, even O'Reilly Auto Parts. All of those jobs, I had to not only learn the terms for that field, I had to learn the skill sets for that field also. And so that's why I want to break those down to you. So the first term for network marketing that is very important is prospect. So if you're in sales, you may know what a prospect is, but if you don't know and you never had a background in sales like me, when I first heard prospect, I'm like, I don't know what they talking about. Am I supposed to prospect gold or something? That was the only time I ever heard the word before. So this is what a prospect is. Simple as this. It's someone that you can talk to and reach out to and say, hey, are you open to learning more about what I have to sell or what I do to make money? Simple as that. Any human being, they don't have to speak the same language as you. They don't have to look like you. They don't have the same, have the same religion. They don't have to even live in the same city or country as you. As you see, CC and I, we work from Colombia. So we're not around many people who even speak the same language as us. So you don't have to. Second term is follow-up. Follow-up is very, very important in network marketing because this is where you actually start producing money. It's in the follow-up. Everyone says the fortune is in the follow-up. And so follow-up is just, just as it sounds. Reaching back, circling back around, talking to someone who either they said they were interested or wanted more information, or even if they said no, and you just ask them. If they said they wanted more information, you just uh, follow up with them like, hey, did you get the, did, were you able to see the information I sent you? If they said no, hey, no problem, I'll catch up with you in about a week or so when, you have time, when I have time. If they said no, they're not open to what you want to do, the follow-up may be just an update. Like for right now, in the times that we're going through, there are thousands, if not millions of teachers, social workers, people in the hospitality industry, all these different fields that now they need those opportunities that they may have said no to in, at one point in their life because they wasn't ready for it. And so then you just go back to them like, hey, with everything that's going on right now, I hope you're doing well. However, do you know someone that may be open to figuring out how to make some money from home right now? Because who isn't? We're all stuck in the house. We're all on a computer. So we're all trying to figure out ways to keep our family afloat. And so the third thing is cold calling. So this is one that everybody is afraid of. Um, it was interesting to me because I, I never understood what cold calling was when we first got into the industry. And I thought it was a negative thing. Uh, but it turns out it's not. Cold calling is just that someone you do not know, you have no previous connection or interactions with, and you're just asking them, hey, are you open to taking a look? 
So like I said, CC and I are in Colombia. We live in a whole nother continent than everybody we know. So we only do cold market prospect. We only talk to people that we don't know. Second, the next term is warm market. This is the opposite of your cold market. So these are people you may know. It could be friends, family, and it could even be friends from social media. Uh, so like with me, I have friends that I've never met in person, but we talk on social media every day. That is my warm market. Like uh, my friend Ken, he's in um, Maryland right now. He's part of my warm market. We're not family, but we are friends. We talk every week, see how each other's doing, see, uh, see how business is going for him also. So that is your warm market. And so also, what do you need? This is a bonus one for you. What do you actually need to be able to work in network marketing? A lot of times people feel like, oh, I need the newest Mac, I need an Apple book, or I need a new uh, iPhone or something like this. This is what CC and I use. We use our cell phones. The one that I actually use is uh, the one that I'm recording on right now. I don't even use my computer anymore because now technology is such simple and easier. You might as well do it from your, your hands. And think about it. How often are you on your phone mindlessly? I know for me, when I did a test, uh, for one day, just to see how long was I on my phone mindlessly doing nothing that could benefit either my health or my financial situation. And to be honest with you, it was about 13 hours scrolling Facebook, scrolling Instagram, doing nothing with my time. And here's the reality. And one of our mentors asked us, if you had to pay for these uh, different sites, would you spend that much time on there? And I told myself, no. So if I'm able to get on these sites for free, they're offered in force, why can't I spend at least half of that time or a quarter of that time working my business or doing something that's gonna help progress my health or my financial situation? So having nothing to do with that, if you are wanting some more information about network marketing, but more specifically about what CC and I do, she is, I'm so proud of her, she is actually doing an interview today at 3 p.m. on Instagram. Just shoot me a message and I will send you the link to where you can actually catch that live. Thanks. Have a great day. Ciao.